In this lesson on Educator.com's Lessons on HTML5, we're going to go over images. And looking at the uh, lessons overview, first we're going to discuss knowing and preparing your images. Let's fix this a little bit here and get it done right. There we go. And then the images folder, okay, and that's important for uh, structure and search engine optimization. Uh, the types of images that we can use. And then, of course, we're going to mention, again, the different image tags. We've already mentioned uh, IMG several times and, of course, the source uh, in previous lessons. But we're going to introduce two new ones. We're going to introduce the element called figure and then fig caption, which is two new uh, uh, tags introduced on HTML 5.0. And then, obviously, we're going to talk about arranging images. So this should be a fun lesson. You may want to download the zip file or get ready to start coding. Let's move forward. OK, so as we have discussed early on before, there are several different types of tools to prepare images. Now, we're not going to go into Photoshop and how to prepare images, how to uh, resize images or crop images how to take images. So I'm just going to basically assume that the images are already prepared. Uh, we've uh, provided you with a zip file so you can download the images that have been prepared, resized. Uh, Educator.com will eventually have a uh, Photoshop uh, class, which I'm sure you'll enjoy and be, uh, definitely benefit a lot from. But um, Photoshop isn't the only tool that webmasters require or the only tool that's out there. And I know that sometimes uh, some of these tools are kind of pricey, but regardless, Photoshop is the industry standard for graphics. And so if you can get a copy of it, a student version of it, then I would definitely recommend it. Uh, there are other tools that you can use, such as uh, Photo Elements,